Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the latest notification about my new tutorials. Hello and welcome to our like walkthrough videos. Today we are going to look at how we can manage our data store, how we can create a folder structure inside, how we can create VMs inside. We are not going to talk about VMs today, but we are going to talk about how we can upload the image files so that we can use them in uh, ESXi for creating VM machines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a directory over here as ISO and then I'm going to create a directory for my VMs. I like managing it in this way so that's what I'm going to do. So for ISO I'm going to upload an ISO file for 2012 R2 server which probably we would see how we can install it in a later video tutorial. So so I have selected the path of my ISO image and now it's been uploaded. It would take time based on the, the size of the uh, image plus the bandwidth or ne the network speed of course so once this is completed uh, you would be able to see this ISO image appearing over here and then we can use it uh, for our uh, installation purpose and all so I'm going to pause this recording over here until this ISO image is completed so my file is about to get completed for the upload once this is done, um, I can move it to other folder if I want. Um, same way I can move VMs around. So if I want, I can move this um, to VMs. I can simply say move and I need to choose the uh, folder or the directory where I would like to move it. Uh, to and fro, I can move it like this. See? So, or I can just copy it to the other location. That's also possible. Um, so this is how we can manage this uh, data store. Even if I want, I can simply click on it and I can delete or I can even download this file from here. So this is very easy way how you can manage your data store. Thank you so much for watching for our next walkthrough videos. Please comment, subscribe to my channel and let me know if you need to know more about any of the products I am talking about.